What do you mean? And like, is and is two. there is there a restaurant at the top? Yeah, that's kind of sick, actually. What's up? Talking about the Eiffel Tower. Oh, wee wee. Oh, I've not been there. Martin's been. been. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hello. Dungeon Discourse, the show about the show. Smile. Uh, today we have our resident ranger, Sir Duke Thirty Three Rangers, and our well, guess. guest ranger, transient <laughs> ranger, <laughs> transient oh. ranger. Yeah. Um, Feels bad. This is going to be the last time we'll see Vincent on the DS channel for at least a little while. You know, there's always Terrible. room for a uh, sigh to pop back up later on down the line. In why did you buzz in? <laughs> why did you buzz in? You, you prick! Stop it! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I had to uh, see if it worked. I already tested it with Vincent before the stream started, Duke. Thank you. <laughs> well, I wasn't here, so. Okay. Smile. Um, like I said, there, there'll be there'll be ample opportunity for Vincent to return and for Sai to, you know, tag along Fulfill with the his group destiny. down the line. I'm ready. Uh, we've had guests return in the camp first campaign as well. James, for instance, and Ecto showed up multiple times, then just once. And I feel like... As a guest, uh, we started off this campaign really strong because Sai definitely had a was very well built, well 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 made, and had I feel like left an, left left a bit of a mark on the group. Just in, yeah, I, I feel like so. Um, I dude, like I said during DS, uh, it's gonna be I'm, I'm genuinely gonna miss you, dude. Like straight up, right in the feels, <laughs> <laughs> genuine, like like as if you know missing anyone else would be fake, like. Yeah. All those other guests, dude, like, they're cool yeah, and all, no, but okay, I'm okay, genuinely okay, okay. going to miss you, <laughs> It's just like, there's, I, I'll be honest, and there, there have been times where I was like, what if Vincent just becomes a permanent member, dude? Fuck it. You know what I mean? But I was like, ah, but then, get, you know what I mean? You, I, 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 the thought yeah, crossed my yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, I get what you mean, I get what you mean. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here we are. Today, we're going to be talking about the last session called Saviors of Streatham, as uh, I think it was Davian that was like, that like, threw that thing like that example in the in a bunch when we're like oh sh no 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 local, i think Dagen came up i think Dagen came up with a name yeah but i was the one yeah. who really like announced that we were the, <laughs> that we saved the town in the fucking tavern yeah. oh that was so funny <laughs> <laughs> um we're also going to be talking a bit more about sai as a character now that his story arc has been completed uh, there's one particular thing that we cannot talk about uh because that will you know that will come up. Oh, don't uh, talk about it then. In the group uh, at some <laughs> point. Spoilers, dude. Um, Paul. And uh, we've got some questions, and we're going to be to be playing D and D Jeopardy, which you're both going to be fucking terrible at. It's going to be. Great. Oh, it's going to be fucking wait. great. It's going to be the <laughs> biggest wait. shit show that has ever graced this channel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I swore to buzz in on every question. So <laughs> you did. You sure did. All right. Um, so first, I'll start off with um, announcements. I have one. This Saturday on my personal channel, I'm celebrating five years of being a, a streamer boy. And as Shatter just mentioned in chat, there's a ridiculous sub-incentive to see me stream in a maid outfit. Uh, in a French maid outfit. And I put it in Discord and I was like, good luck. And all the big hitters chimed in that were like, oh, that's going to fucking happen, dude. So I'm Yeah, no worry. There's no, there's no luck needed. Because, <laughs> like, I, I, yes, money, but I'm also terrified because I really kind of had that small hope that, like, that 200 subs is a lot of subs. There's no, you know what I mean? There's no fucking way. Are you going to get the cat ears as well? No. No, no cowboy? Got... You've got... No, 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 no. you got to get the cat ears. you got to get the cat ears, dude. Come that, on. That's not part of a French made outfit, is it? That's, a, what, that's another 10, 10 subs, right? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. That's well, bull... I, I, what what difference you know... does it make? There'll be some stretch goals, I guess, if you want to see cat ears, God. Well, you're going to... You, listen, you're already going to be wearing the French maid outfit. It's not going to get any more embarrassing if you put cat ears on. So... Isn't it? <laughs> no. Like, Isn't literally it? not at all. What? You're already in a fucking maid outfit at the end of the day. You can fucking Dude, I put it... A... I found an outfit in my size as well. Like, you can it, take it's... a fucking suction cup dildo and smack it on your forehead and it's not going to make it worse, <laughs> you know? Gonna like, it's going to get you banned, though. It'll get you banned, but it won't be any more embarrassing. <laughs> so yeah, Saturday. We're starting at 3 p.m. A hard cap at 18 hours because I want to get at least some sleep in before Dungeon Select. So, uh, Imagine wanting sleep, dude. Um, but yeah, hard cap at 18 hours. 
Playing a bunch of there's a fucking Call of Duty event going on, so that'll probably be the majority of the stream. Um, oh, I want to. I feel so bad for you. Loki also kind of play some more Far Cry Six. We're going to be playing some Sea of Thieves because um, I don't know. Fuck it. I talked to some to some gamers and I want to play Sea of Thieves. Because there's an event going on right now and shit, right? So is that? I yeah, think, probably. Like, yeah, Christmas and stuff. new season dropped not so long ago as well. So yeah. like, and, and I didn't play the season before then, so you know plenty of new stuff to check out uh, keep, and we'll probably throw some other games in there like eventually I'll probably get the season play a season I'll probably get drunk enough at some point to want to play some Jackbox or some stupid shit so we'll see is this on Saturday yeah Damn. so yeah that's my announcement anyone else want to I don't know share something before we get going uh well I'm gonna marathon hotline Miami on Saturday but that's no biggie Oh, dude, yeah, because you're still doing that, like, 10 game challenge, right, technically? Yeah, and if I finish one and two, then I'm done, though. Mm. My boy, my boy. Yeah. Alrighty. So, let's get into it. Last session, what happened? Well, you guys dealt with, uh, uh, you know, the aftermath of defeating Lord Fearcrog, Vendetta, and Malek. Um, found the second tier of Kosuth found some other cool things some magic items to add to your arsenal of, of, of trinkets to, to use on your adventures and um, paid a visit to the chubby dwarf which uh, didn't go too well for uh, Brooks but hey here we go um, and kind of said goodbye to Sai Sai is off to uh do some more research on how to permanently deal with his uh, his adversary. Yes, he has won. Sai has won the battle, but the war is not over, as uh, as they say. Um, so that's going to be very fun and interesting, and uh, we'll see how uh, how the party gets on without him <clears throat> for uh, just fine. The foreseeable dude. future. <laughs> so, oh, with with that said. Uh, do you lot have any questions or, or things or things you want to discuss about last session or the last few sessions? Yeah, first of all, how could you? But I what? Kill Onu. How could I kill <laughs> How do you sleep at night? Huh? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up to be fair. Yeah, it is fucked up. Wait a second. I am I getting flamed huh? for fireballing Onu? Is that what's going on right now? I mean, just wondering where do you get off? You know. Listen, <laughs> grouped up people equals fireball when fighting wizard. Next question. Yeah, there was other stuff you could have done though, and then <laughs> fireballed when Onu wasn't going to be in the way. I stay true to the character I was playing. Yeah, but now I got to deal with this fucking complex trauma that this dog has now. Dude, that's probably I, partially my fault. I I'm just I just decided to make Onu an actual character instead of just a fucking yes master. <laughs> you know, I decided to give him some personality. Fucking sue me. I might. Honestly, the therapy I'm gonna need for this yeah, campaign, you'll pay him for it, bro. You'll pay him for it. No, I. You'll listen. Yeah. You'll you'll be paying my legal fees. You'll be paying for the therapy that I'm gonna need after this campaign, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'll make you buy me a dog as well. <laughs> no. I'll buy you a dog just to fucking take it away from you a week later. Be like, ah, psych. Oh my god. My <gasps> Only's gonna get to be a fish. Oh. Because we're going to the lake. Yes, you are. You are going to the lake, Lake Udina. Was it an uh, octopus or is it a fish fish? I can whatever the fuck I want. Fuck it. A creature yeah. of the sea, right? Is, uh, is what it's called. Yeah. Mm. That's such a um, cool. That's so cool. I'll make him a, a marlin or something. Um, marlins like big and scary. Make him fucking. Fast. What are those fish called that have like the little like light? Wait, do you have like a CR? Anglerfish. 
Like, do, do you have like a limit? What's, what's it's the... not a CR anymore because of the like, it, Tasha's Cauldron basically just gives you three different stat blocks, and it's like this one is C, oh. this one is land, and this one is air. So you oh, okay. pick whatever animal, and it just has that stat block, which yeah. is great because it means that it, it's balanced. Like, every land animal is going to be the same as you know, every other rather than you trying praying that you get a decent fucking pet within CR yeah. one quarter or whatever it is, yeah. which is so lame. Yeah, like uh, Tasha's cauldron of everything definitely makes rain, especially the beast uh Beastmaster? No, that's a hunter. Yeah. Class. Is it Beastmaster? No, it's Beastmaster. Okay. Um <clears throat> a lot just a lot more fun, I feel, you know? Just like playable in general. Because yeah. I think Part of the strength of Beastmaster in, uh, like, the player's handbook is that it's good early on and then sucks. Like, actually having the pet do shit in combat when you're low level is good, but later on kind of whack. Mm -hmm. So being able to command the pet with a bonus action and shit is just magical because it means that they're more viable for longer. Yeah, I suppose. And, yeah, and the stat blocks makes it more standardized that you're not going to have, like... You're not going to want one specific thing out of the monster manual because it's actually worth having. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and dude, honestly, like so far, it's been... I don't know. I'm enjoying uh, the way you're playing Davian and the whole, like... I, I don't know. I figured with with Onu like being like a... What is it? Not a face spirit, but like an equivalent of that kind of... Uh, a pri primordial... primordial being or a primal being or something yeah. like that. Uh, I just kind of decided on uh, actually wanting him to feel like a character. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just give him some personality and shit. Uh, and it's, I, mean, I don't know. It's been it's been it's been good so far, for sure, for sure. Um. Okay. I mean, I love him. Just be a lot cooler if you didn't kill him. Listen, nobody's fucking safe. All right. It is obvious. It's really easy to heal him. It's like one spell slot and one minute, and he'll be back to full health when he dies. But it's kind of fucked up, you know. Yeah, uh, cry me a river. You got you've got that emotional trauma that comes with it now. Yeah, so does he. He has to live with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, well, just don't get him killed, lol. Like it's that easy. Oh, dude, if it, like if anything bad happens to him on the next expedition, he's gonna like he's gonna end up staying in the in the car, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna want to bring him anywhere. I don't think it's gonna help his fucking. No, it's not gonna help his fucking self esteem. <laughs> he's gonna be <laughs> feeling even worse. It's he's like, up, what? Dude. Why did you abandon me? <laughs> you don't like me anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's this is the worst situation. <laughs> deal with it, bro. Fucking deal with it. Uh, I have a question for uh, mm. our uh, our resident ranger first. Has Davian? Because Davian knows that Sai is a ranger, right? Like that. They, yeah. They, has Davian kind of like picked up some things or taken inspiration from from Sai? In the way he deals with things, or 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 not at all. Size stoic and level-headed, but in terms of like actual technique, I don't know. There wasn't really, there wasn't really like much opportunity to learn, and there wasn't too much. Like they're very obviously in combat, separate branches of ranger. Absolutely, so yeah. you know, um, they 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 both definitely have their own things there. And when it comes to like the, the uh, like outside of combat, we didn't even get to really be in a, a ranger's environment, mm. right? So that's true. Most of the tracking and stuff, Davian took the lead on anyway in the city, and then you know, with the like going into the dungeon and having hunters marked, that was all kind of everything. Sort of Davian was taken in his stride rather than like mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, I, I think I think more of a like personality way like style but just his like i said level headedness is more was more impactful there were a lot of there were a lot of points where like i felt like we should just apologize to Sai because we were a mess like <laughs> it's some of the most like <clears throat> stupid and messy discussions and everything happened in Sai's presence right like we, we were doing yeah. Okay, like it was iffy, but then 
just the perfect storm somehow. Sai arriving was just like so terribly timed with all of these different things that suddenly broke out with fucking Kess like yeah. weaseling on people's shit and the and hiding the whole vessel thing from Daigon. So then like that was a thing. The dragon egg. Jeez. I mean, the, the, the funniest part about that is that every time these discussions would happen, it would be after we get, like, uh, we, we would be at a bar or something, we'd get a drink, and so Sai just starts drinking, and then I just imagine Sai, like, kind of, like, leaning back on a chair yeah, while this discussion's just like... happening, just sipping out his drink, just like, okay, <laughs> this, this is happening again! <laughs> it's just awkwardly sitting there drinking while there's this discussion from these people yeah, he barely like, knows. Like... The, the the kid at his friend's house while his friend's parents are arguing type thing. That, just, is just, yeah. <laughs> that is literally it. That is literally it. Fuck. Because literally none of his business. Like he had no n nothing was nothing involved him. Nothing was to do with anything that actually Sai had done. It was just like we had these weird loose ends that just like would come up while I mean, it's just a hired hand. Like I'm just here to fucking kill some bad guys, but. Mm. Boy, if that baggage doesn't keep coming up, like it, yeah, it was bad. There were there were there were moments where I was like, man, Sai must think that we are fucking ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, I think that kind of just added to the the intrigue though as well, like or the like, I don't know, like these are just <laughs> real <laughs> people with problems, you know? And yeah, it's but it, it's like a classic, like how how do they do it? Because they are <laughs> so dysfunctional, but they yeah, manage. They exactly. manage. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's been a bumpy ride, definitely, uh, when it comes to like the party developing uh, a little bit. But um, I'm gonna ask Sai, not the same, but a similar question. Uh, has Sai picked up anything or taken inspiration from any uh, about anything from anyone in the party in general? Um, he grew up mean... taller, learning from Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for example, like, because Sai d does tracking and stuff as well, but, like, when he noticed that uh, Davian looks for a lot of different shit that he would have never th thought of, mm -hmm. especially in the cave, since Sai hasn't really been into many caves, so that, I mean, he learned a bunch of stuff there, like, what to, and talking to the mouse, Sai would have probably never <laughs> have yeah, thought of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Like, oh, uh, like cool, I don't cool. know. There's just that, that as well. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. He liked to, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know if he learned something, but like the whole uh, mentality that Alazrin has of kind of just, I don't know. He, he see Alazrin seems kind of doing his own thing, kind of in the background. Like something is happening. Like he's looking for something or. He's got a goal that he's kind of working towards quietly while being able to deal with whatever the group throws, like, his way as well. Like, mm -hmm. you guys, when we just waited outside that chest room without knowing what was going on, we are just kind of standing there, just like, hmm, wonder mm -hmm. where they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, he, I don't know. I don't know if he learnt other things from people. I mean, he uh, more reinforced the fact that being honest with each other is probably good. <laughs> reinforced the fact that he's better off alone. Yeah. <laughs> he's a lone wolf. <laughs> okay. I've got a question for uh, for you, Vincent. From uh, our resident cleric. Yeah. Um... How did Sai feel about the party going to the chest and his dis and uh, his then decision to stay with the Lazarin? Did he trust the party or did he do it to avoid more fighting? His his logic there was just I'm not leaving someone alone. Straight up. That that was if everyone's going into this room and the guy who is fucking healing us and keeping us alive with this dome of temporary HP which he was amazed at. He was like this is f amazing. I love this. <laughs> Because that shit saved me so many... I think it saved me from getting one shot and com getting completely destroyed in that last fight. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um... Yeah, I mean, he... I think regardless if anyone would have stayed back, like one person, he would have not gone in. 
So that he could have stepped them like he did. Exactly. Them. I need to be alone with someone to poison them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I definitely, I, I get that. I, I get that like mindset of like, this guy's keeping us alive. If he's we on really, his own. yeah. And we didn't go. There was a point <clears throat> because we didn't divulge too much about what happened in that room. Yeah. When you guys and talked at one about the point, abyss. Yeah. I, I skimmed over like there's an entrance to the abyss. And Lazarus was like, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, we didn't tell him shit. Wait, I gotta quickly we just fucking... we just went in and came out and had stuff and we moved on. I gotta quickly fill it with Discord because it keeps like lagging your camera for some reason, Duke, and I don't know why. The voice is lagging for me. Is my voice fine? Yeah. No, your voice is fine. Same, actually. Oh, really? Uh, I'll just fucking... Every so often I get a little bit of lag on Vincent's end, funnily enough, where it like delays. Oh, and now I'm swapping regions and it's like, oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I swapped regions and it took like a good like 10 seconds for Discord to realize that I did. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Alright, I'll see that fixed it. Sorry guys. Um Yeah, it's you like brushed over oh, was the, the abyss. Then Lazarin goes, sorry what? But he still didn't okay, get any what? fucking explanation. Like he's yeah, still we like, I think we didn't I think I got some I information near the end there when someone because talking about going to the abyss. You know when we were saying yeah. I need to find a and it came up like and it came up again. You then. Yeah. And you're like, and I think I would rather know where I was going. <laughs> Yeah. And just being thrown in there by a box. Yeah. A colorful box. True. Yeah. We You wouldn't expect a colorful box to send you to the abyss. Very animated. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, question for Davian. That's me. With the party pretty aligned now to help him gather the tears, does he feel like he owes these people and wants to repay a debt, or does he believe that they're doing it to be nice and doesn't have to do anything in return? Definitely. Do oh, Okay. Given how things have lined up for the first two, hasn't really felt that he's owed anyone anything. Mm -hmm. The his, biggest worry is that it's gonna go... Like, him getting the third one is either going to... Like, go. it's gonna go wrong somehow. And although he is, you know, he's seeking them out because he wants to be more powerful. Like, that is, you know, it's pretty much, like, his main interest here is mm -hmm. he's seen what, like, the likes of Kess can do with a similar, like, relationship with a greater being. And he's like, I want to be able to do that, dude. Like, as far as, you know, even from, like, both as, as, it, from an in-character perspective and a meta perspective, like, he's one of the most kind of, other than fighter, one of the most martial, like, straightforward classes, right? Mm -hmm. With some of the changes from Tasha's, it's a little bit more magical, but he's not, you know, he's not a sorcerer. He doesn't have any innate magical ability other than, you know, the few sort of tricks that he kind of gains from being a ranger, which... I mean, there's not a huge amount. Hunter's Mark and Tangle. I have like three spells or something. Mm -hmm. Like the, the promise of being magical is really exciting. But what he's like, the, the scariest thing is he gets the third one and suddenly he is either going to be like a baddie or it, it's going to like change him somehow. Or Kosuth is suddenly going to pull like, OK, now you have to, you know, kill all your friends or some shit like he doesn't he doesn't know. No one's asked him, really. He has no idea. And, like, he doesn't feel super indebted to them because so far it's been pretty beneficial all around. You know, we've been, mm -hmm. we, oh, we were sent to deal with Fear Krog for the bounty because of the whole, the, the fires that are going on. And, like, the Hydra coincided with dealing with this potential invasion of a bunch of Yuan Ti. So it's like, okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're dealing with threats here that are helping people. Mm -hmm. But the last one is like, yeah, the it's last just one a bunch of Triton the last living in a lake. You, pretty much, it's like, and it's like, yeah, that that we don't <laughs> we don't know as of yet. Like he's hoping that there's gonna be another thing. Like we're gonna meet the Triton, and they're gonna be really evil, and they're gonna want to pull up fucking Team Aqua and flood the entire continent with the lake. Right? <laughs> That's what he's holding out. Like they're gonna use the power from Kosu's throne to like completely sink the continent. And then okay. they're going to save the day and they're going to put a stop to it. And like, that's going to be <laughs> their, their motivation. 
Boy, have I got news for you. But he doesn't know. Um, okay. They might just be a bunch of friendly Triton, and we're going to show up and be like, can we have this? And they're going to be like, oh, that's a really bad idea, actually. No, probably not. And then, you know, the people are going to get killed. Or you could just steal it, dude. Yeah. But right now, not feeling <laughs> indebted, just worried. Okay. No, that's fair. That's you're, fair. You know, kind of preparing for the worst when he when he gets that third tier, mm -hmm. and Kosu turns around and says, "I, you're my bitch now." Uh, I time feel to, like because the way I've been dealing with the whole Kosu thing stake. is like he was at like peak intensity and and threatening when you first met, mm. and as you've kind of like proven yourself to him he gradually became less and less intense and showed more of himself like last literally the last time you spoke to him he pretty much showed up and is like you know this is what i look like you know this is like fiery yeah. humanoid with fiery hair and flaming yeah armor. like instagram versus real life yeah uh and you know. and had like a pretty casual conversation with you about what's next whereas yeah i can't i can't um, wait for the you get the third tier and he's just a dude. He's just showing he's just a dude and he's like, hey man, thanks, thanks for that. You can do magic now. See you later. Uh, no, this is like the last transformation. This is this is him for the rest of the <laughs> campaign. Unless. Unless. Um but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like uh, Kosuth fire element like the whole thing about fire and the elemental plane of fire and fire elementals or any like fire ganasi, whatever the fuck it may be. Um, very intense, very, you know, uh, very linked to that element of fire, which is unpredictable, uh, scary, dangerous, but also, uh, you know, but it's also warm, and there's a lot of different, like, aspects to it, um, where in their personalities, they just tend to be very fucking intense and are look scary, but once you get to, you know, you kind of feel comfortable... Feel comfortable. Around I mean, when them, you though. when you look at each of the elemental <clears throat> elements, <laughs> they're all the, they're all similar in that way. I feel like fire is much more like uh, immediate perception of fire is destructive, but it's like mm -hmm. water. You've got you know uh, you've got a, a, a clear pond or a small puddle, and then you've got a fucking tsunami. Yeah, you know? water is equally destructive as fire, dude. Right, Extra. and wind oh a, a gentle summer breeze that tornado. carries the carries a butterfly across the meadow to a fucking tornado that's going to tear up an entire city and like mm -hmm. you know earth well you fucking earthquake dude yeah like, like that, they're all pretty element, they're all every element comes with its, its like threats uh but um... but but fire is the most immediately like oh erratic yeah. dangerous destructive and it, i guess at its core like fire requires fuel. Like mm -hmm. you, fire must destroy something else to exist. Which yes, kind of scary. Yeah. And when we've just been dealing with the dragon cult, whose entire motivation was we're gonna burn shit down to make this guy happy. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. That's something. That's something to face up to. Uh, like for for Davian. Yeah. Signing up and being like, um, am I doing the right thing? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I, I, I have a lot of ideas, and I'm excited just to kind of see where this goes. Still needs to fucking perfect the subclass too. Yeah, because that's like the whole. I don't. I don't think it's a secret anymore. But that's like, that's like the whole thing here. The idea is you want from the beginning of the campaign. You were like, I want Davian to be a ranger warlock like hybrid. Uh, right? Well, I, I, I initially was fighter. fighter. Hybrid. Yeah. But, so, but when you decided on Ranger, you still got, you wanted that yeah. Warlock hybrid to be part. Yeah, of but its I, I I got to change up the subclass. Uh, but in some um, ways, yeah, you chose a subclass, and we you wanted it. To, we wanted you wanted to basically homebrew it a little bit, so it's more like fiery themed. Yeah, uh, which is no problem. I have an idea of how to kind of approach that situation with you, because chances mm -hmm. are that because you just leveled up. When you you know find the final tier, if if that's immediately what you go do, I find I might feel like it's a little too soon to level up the party again. So what I might do is offer you the choice of a promise of power at a later date. So whenever you next level up, or turn in one of your ranger levels to get a warlock. I, level. Yeah. So <clears throat> when I leveled up this time around, mm -hmm. I took a point in charisma and a point in constitution. Mm -hmm kind of preparing for that multi-class anyway okay so 
uh, even this time around, I was like, would, because it was as a result of getting the second tier, like this time around, I was going to ask you like, do I get one point in, in Warlock right now? Or, or no. But it would, it makes more sense. If we're not going to level up when we, when we get the third tier, at that point, I will swap the level. But it will probably mean losing HP, right? Because it's a D8 for Warlocks or is it a D10? Yeah, we'll have to work out the like intricacies of that because yeah, obviously you won't get you won't get the stats upgrade either because, you know, instead of getting a 4... Oh, because it'll be first level Warlock. Yeah, right. Oh, so we'll that's have to, true. So we'll have to look at that. And if, you, yeah. if you feel like you'd rather it be more beneficial for you to just kind of hold off and wait till I mean, the next level up. My charisma is trash but, um, otherwise. So. We'll, we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll just, that's just something that yeah, I it might be my fifth level figure out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like, I, I just I want to give you, like, offer you that choice of, like, if you want to... I mean, to, there's always... I get one level and then not level up and the rest of the party does. I suppose. But I kind of, I don't know. I don't it, like the well, What's it called? Of... It's milestone leveling. And that's yeah would be an enormous milestone for just the character, right? Yeah, I suppose. I, I'll have to think about it and we'll see. Yeah. And I don't know. Well, like, like I said, we'll see. Fuck it. But it's, it's just something that kind of bounced around in my head is like, how am I going to do this with, with, with you when that time comes? But we'll see. Yeah. Um, got another question for the both of yous. Um, and this is just Koiba typing in a way that I just don't understand, but I'm going to just... Oh, God. Yeah. How do you find how quickly the party dynamics change as they grow together and we get more comfortable playing them? Uh, who's that for? Both of you. Is this in the Discord? Yes. <laughs> okay. How do you find... How quickly the parry dynamics, which I'm assuming is party. I fucking love Koi for stuff. What do you think of how quickly party <laughs> dynamics change as the party members grow together and we get more comfortable playing them? There we go. That's the one. That's it. Took us a while, but. <laughs> I mean, it. Okay. <clears throat> I'd say it's hard for me to say. Yeah, I think that's fair. I, I saw a lot of party dynamics changing, though, with the interactions and the whole and cast you were, situation. Yeah, you were here for a short amount I was of time. There, I was there for a lot of that. So, yeah, yeah. So sure were, sure that was very cool, and I could see, like, I don't know if people are getting more comfortable with what they're playing, but it seemed very uh, organic, what happened. It seemed like it was... Uh, what the the what the characters would do in such situations and all that, and I think it was done really well. So I I don't know I I think it's it's pretty good right now, and it only gets better once because obviously the more you play, the more you get comfortable. And I felt more comfortable later on. At the start, I was a bit you know, obviously the first session and the beginning was a bit. Just trying to find the voice I was going to use, getting used to that, trying to find how I was going to play the character and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> but at, near the end, I was pretty happy with where I was at. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. You know, I feel like last time when Ethan was on, I asked Brooks' opinion on the pecking order of the group, I yeah, think. You did, yeah. But yeah. I wasn't here to watch the response. Um, Check the volume. The party bro. dynamic is interesting because it do, it takes shape pretty like it, it changes pretty dramatically you know session by session at this point because we're still quite yeah. early on mm -hmm. and there was this you know <clears throat> the the party when they when we initially got together like i think looked a lot different than it does now because we were all we all had our buddies, right? Like, we all came mm -hmm. in from our session zeros. We had the people that, like, we knew we could sort of rely on. And that, you know, that changes up pretty quick, especially when Kess kind of, you know, been hiding something from Daigon since they met. And they've been, you know, homies for a really long time. So now there's, like, this, you know, Daigon kind of spending more time with, like, Jax as, you know, someone to try and, I guess build a new bond and like not have to completely rely on Kess because she maybe can't trust Kess as much as she thought she could mm -hmm. um <clears throat> and like even just last session because th there's always like these 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 significant moments between characters 
like one on one, like every session there'll be something new with someone else. And then there's like this little bond or like seed sown. So like that, you know, that can change that can change the, the dynamic dramatically, even for a short period of time, where it's like mm -hmm. um you know, Kess and Jax like had a blood thing. Like what That's happened? Not the there? first time Kess pulls out the like, oh let's make a blood pact. She's done yeah, that she's done that throughout. That's just kind of her thing, I guess. She's done that before, where she's like, "I mean, if you don't trust me, then let's suck in, you know, yeah. your blood and shake on it." Uh, that's kind of, um, I guess, Kess's, Kess's way of uh, showing that she's, you know, that she intends on keeping her word. I guess, in a way. Yeah, I mean, uh, dude, like Kess's background is fucking wild, and she, d d dude, once the party like learns where Kess like is from and her like upbringing and shit it's fucking it's wild <laughs> it's fucking wild i know my Sai, favorite uh, moment so far a little was... bit here and there um because of the whole ganasi thing but like shit dude there, there's there's a lot of layers to our f flipping story let yep. me tell you my favorite moment so far was when she was trying to cheer up the fucking dragonborn that we freed <laughs> yes. telling that bullshit story and i was like i I gotta bring this up later because that's amazing. <laughs> Those are the fucking chickens. And yes, the yeah. chicken, the ch chickens in the priestess's house. And also the wand, the tree with the those trees. That, yes, that was dude. fucking stupid, man. I <laughs> like, I, I kind of love how Bell has done that like a lot now. Is just come up with like bullshit stories that aren't fucking true and are super easy to decide to determine she's bullshitting. And like I don't know, there's just the way about like how bubbly Kess is that like. The entire party knows she's full of shit, but also at the same time is like, whatever. Yeah, she's a warlock, man. She's got charisma. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess, yeah, yeah. And it, like, plays it well. It's fucking. It's so stupid because she <laughs> is like a little shit. Yeah, absolutely. For the sake, just for the sake of being a little shit, yep. the whole time. Mm -hmm. And, but as far you know, as far as party dynamics go, I know. I think very early on, like one of the first discourses I was on. I think I was like, I think I said something about how Brooks has this kind of, uh, like, not desire to lead, but it kind of like his, his instinct to sort of take, con like, take command of the situation mm -hmm. irks Davian, like, Davian feels that he's a good sort of analytical and logical thinker and, like, can plan stuff out well, and... <clears throat> You know, kind of, you know, Brooks. I, I feel like everyone had this uh, this feeling that Brooks is an alcoholic, okay? <laughs> and there was this feeling of like, yeah, maybe he shouldn't be trusted in command, but boy, he loves he loves taking it. <clears throat> um, but, and I've seen that there is one of the questions about this, but like, Brooks and Davian were on the roof. I literally was like, I'm going to pick a person at random that I'm going to... I, you know, I'm gonna take the necklace I'm, and I'm gonna put the fucking tears together and whoever whoever I rolled, because I literally rolled a die, who, whoever, you know, whoever's the lucky so-and-so is gonna be there for it. Mm -hmm. And so, rolled for Brooks, who was alone on the roof, and I was like, okay, let's see what happens. And he was just fucking drawn into this whole thing. Yeah. And so, you know, that... that that me feels a little better about 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 Brooks after that, you know, low key. So, okay. trust him a little bit more, you know. So like every every friggin' episode, there's just the party dynamic is like all over the place. I also feel like party dynamic really changes based on what quest you're on, I guess. Uh, yeah. Because the first uh, quest was really a um, something that kind of like brought you together as a group. But I feel like for that one in particular, um, uh, it was really like like that was kind of where the group kind of still made like decisions based on you know whatever the fuck everyone wants to do. But then as soon as this story arc came along, it became a lot more like Davian taking the lead and Elanzrin kind of assisting because this was a plot hook that was sewn into your your session zero and and obviously now with this. Yeah overlooming plots of, you know, going to get the third tier. I'm expecting Davian to really get looked at for decisions here because it's your it's your fucking business. And I feel like, you know, when it comes to, you know, whenever the party decides to deal with this whole like spider web shit, a Lazarus yeah, is going to be, be a Lazarus thing on the forefront and whenever 
uh, I, I feel like um, the party dynamic changes to the point where it depend, it, f f I think the, 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 the mission you're on or the quest you're, you're doing the story arc you're in really dis determines who takes charge based on even if it's not tied to a backstory it could be like oh we're going to visit uh, a tabaxi colony naturally Daigon will be looked at because she is a tabaxi she'll know yeah. how to act and how to behave so you're gonna follow her example uh, oh we're going to a, a fucking investigate a fucking murder in a fucking brewery I don't fucking know oh you're gonna look at Brooks because Brooks knows you know knows how to talk to these people shit like that like I yeah. feel like um, which is cool as fuck because there's no re there's no real set dynamic um yeah the the dynamic is exactly that it's, it's dynamic and mm -hmm. you know from from the overall like pecking order and who people are turning to for what to like the individual interpersonal relationships like it's changing all the time dude mm -hmm. it's wild i feel like it's also because yeah. you know the party's still getting to know each other like properly right yeah. so exactly if eventually you know months from now or months from now in game i should say um we'll get to a point where the beans have all been spilled and you know you actually know and we've disbanded because we all hate each other yeah pretty much no. <laughs> um got a question for vincent yes how does sai feel about finally making progress in his hunt is he excited at the prospect of finishing malak once and for all or is he terrified of potentially finding him on his home turf oh god okay uh well, I mean, Sai was already content with dying without ever encountering Malik. Mm -hmm. Like he was, he was constantly searching for him. But at this point, it had took him so, it had like been so long since he had any tangible leads. Yeah, because Sai's old. That yeah, he's he's not young. <laughs> and uh, he he was Basically his life's work uh, has been dedicated yeah. to destroying this fucking shadow team. <laughs> and he was perfectly content with. <clears throat> Knowing that he had spent his life dedicated to trying and find this, and unfortunately not, so now he's like, <laughs> it's like he he was super. There was like a really short moment of happiness when he like killed Malik, quote unquote, mm -hmm. and then the sudden realization when he when Malik says like, uh, until we meet again or whatever, until uh, yeah. whatever he said, I forget what he said exactly, but. Uh, when he said that, I was, <laughs> Sai was like, "Ah, oh, shit. God okay. damn it. God damn it. So he's back to, you know, the... He knows it's going to be fruitless or mostly fruitless and hard to find information. And he's just going to do what he was doing before. He's going to oh, spend... Oh, dude, I can already his... see a fucking story arc brewing, dude, where, you know, months from now, <laughs> Sai returns. He's like, listen... I've tracked this fucker down. I know how to get there. We're I getting need this guy. I need, I need backup. I you know need I mean? your fucking help. That's going to be fucking... That's going to be... F I can already say I want that to happen. So that is going to happen. <laughs> and that's going to be fucking... It's going to be fucking great. Holy fuck. What's he going to do? <laughs> Sorry? If, if he defeats Malak, what's, he, what's next? If he, if he defeats, defeats Malak, I think he's just going to... He's going to chill. He's going to retire, dude. <laughs> he, he's he's going to be good, dude. He's Hang like... the scimitars. <laughs> finally killed this motherfucker, dude. Ugh. I did a lot to the people you love, but I don't think he fucked any of them. Yeah, yeah I, I was just going to say, like... It could go a couple ways, because... You either... You know, you you, oh, you defeat Malek. Okay, it's done. Not satisfied. Honestly, right? I have it's no like, idea. Or, you know, you defeat Malek. It's done. You've got revenge. You're 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 content, and then it's like now I have no purpose because yeah, you know entire life is his has led up to literally entire life has led up to that moment of defeating Malek. Yeah. What the fuck yep. now? Mm. Yeah. He might be. I have no <laughs> idea how I'll, I'd, I'd, I have no idea how he'd react. I, I just. Honestly... I think. I think. Here we go. And this is none of my business, but the most mm -hmm. poetic thing would be him to fell Malek with the same blow that kills him. You know, like. End it all well, right that would then. be that would be poetic, yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, that whole story arc I want to happen, and I would love it for that. You know, for that to be something that you know, Vincent, we're gonna make that happen. You know, whenever the time is right. <laughs> the the no. time is right, yeah. Down the line, the, ab the abyss is a scary <laughs> yeah, place. It fucking is. It Ooh, fucking wee. is, dude. 
That's just spooky. I, f I forget. I mean, t I don't think Campaign One like there's no bit. There's not been like proper, proper like long term no. visits to the Abyss at all. We. You fought I think Orcus, who rules the Abyss, or rules a big chunk Orcus of the Abyss. Orcus came, out, he of the came abyss. out of the Abyss. To Trim you. went to the Abyss, right? Um, When she got, like, Did we not shanked with yes. the fucking... Kind of, sort of. She was kind of, like, locked in her own mind. But yeah. it took the shape of the Abyss. Um, yeah, we never went, though. I don't think... Uh, we went to we went to the the hells shadow shadowfell shadowfell you went to the I wasn't you I was there around and went for the, the demiplane of nightmares or demiplane of demiplane mm. nightmares yeah yeah I like the uh, I also like the because talking about the possible story arcs uh, the I think Laura was the one who mentioned something about they somehow go to the abyss like the group goes to the abyss and just finds sai like trapped. Yeah, we just stumble over sai like either you know look i found for... that i found that really cool as well or like as a, a cool idea or dead no but, that's not uh, cool <laughs> that wouldn't be cool a bit a bit less jovial uh no yeah that'd be and I, I, i'll in a lot just of ways. We'll obviously and, and, and vincent we'll, we'll no sit down and talk vincent about it. Oh my god, we find Psy dead and Vincent is playing the Mercer playable class of a ghost that has unfinished business and then we take him and we kill Malak with that ghost oh and that god. finishes his story and he disappears and everyone's happy. <laughs> Just hire me right now. <laughs> uh, maybe. Nah, but when the time comes, obviously me, me we'll, we'll talk about oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I'm uh, sure, I'm sure. Like it won't be for a while, but it's it's nice to have like, not... ideas for the future, you know? Yeah. I'm, yeah, like, I mean, when like, I, what when sort I do this level? Like, pre prep for, like, D&D, I just, like, I have ideas all the fucking time, literally, like, and I need to jot them down somewhere, and then, you know, I'll, I'll return, like, I have, like, I have, like, a, a, a document that is just, like, I did the same for the previous campaign, it's just, like, potential plot, potential plot lines, and just, every time something popped up in my head, I'll write it down, and, like, over 75%, nothing got done with it, but, um, they're there. <laughs> They're there. I, I do. I want to be like exhaustive in this campaign. Explore every nook and cranny and really push the push the boundaries of, of, of content. But getting everyone to just agree to go to one place at a time is impossible as it is. I don't so, know. It's at least from what I experienced, it seemed fair. I mean, you guys were already going somewhere. Yeah. When you started. No, talking I'm talking about... like on, on a small level, like, oh, we're in a oh. town. And it's like, oh, I want to go to this, this, this in the town. But either everyone's going to split up and then it's just going to be like, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you? And everyone's doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. Or if we, if the only way to get everyone to go to the same place at once is have a really, really, really good reason because someone is going to be like, no, oh, I don't want to. And no. it's like, <laughs> you know, th th think, <laughs> think we met nobody in the last campaign and like, what a great guy, you know? Really helped us out. Fucking freak. Oh, uh, right. what was his voice but, again? Oh, it was I, like a, it was like a lispy, spiddly fucking... Yeah, he was yes. like a lich simp. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lich simp? <laughs> yeah, basically, and, he, was, and, he owned this, like, like this, like, bookstore slash... Uh, but he had, like, this weird collection of curiosities, and there was this lich that, like, assisted the big bad of Campaign 1 that, like originally like lived and grew up in the town that this bookstore was in and like nobody was this like sickly looking gnome uh and like he knew a lot of shit and he goes around snooping to find like <laughs> peculiar fucking shit and had a, a very big fascination for the fact that zenji came from uh, uh his town or whatever the fuck it's fucking yeah whew, it's uh, fucking it's fucking wild um duke Mm. How does Davian feel about his progress towards the tears and the visions he's seen? Does he see his potential patron as a benevolent force or something darker? We already kind of went over this. Yeah, I'd like <laughs> to, to be definitive. The uncertainty is the most terrifying thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. clearly, there's, clearly there's power there. And uh, I, 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 think, I think that it's a point of there's a point of no return now because he's not yeah. going to he's not going to hand over the tears to someone else who's seeking them mm -hmm. and there's this there's there i think for, for a couple reasons one he's competitive 
Two, he's already invested time and risked his own life and his friends' lives to get them. Mm -hmm. And three, this kind of like self-righteousness of like he believes that he would be the most responsible with the power that they would give him. He knows his own like motivations and 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 morality and is like, I'm not gonna hand these tears to someone I don't know mm -hmm. to risk them doing something terrible with them. But Karsuth, there's a lot of uncertainty there and he's he believes that as of right now, he's the best man for the job, so. Okay. <clears throat> uh, also, how does Davian feel about the fact that Brooks was caught up in this vision? Uh, is it reassuring to have someone who experienced it with him, or does it unnerve him that he had to share something so personal? Um, it it's not something that's super personal. And also there's a relief in the fact that, like, he's not crazy. Like, mm -hmm. he now has, like, a Kess... Yes, he has a witness, someone who can corroborate and say, like, yeah, that's real as hell. This, there is a scary fireman. Um, <laughs> he had no doubt that, like, Kess believed in him. Like, maybe a Lazarin, because not only do they have this trust, but a Lazarin also has, you know, this powerful being that grants him powers. So to have one of the more, like, not necessarily sort of cynical, but less religiously involved, yeah. to Davin's knowledge. I mean, I know that Brooks is a, a tiefling and, like, therefore innately has some kind of demon blood or or, or devil blood or whatever. So, like, I'm sure Brooks is well aware of the power of things, such things, but, like... The divine To Davian's forces. knowledge... Yeah, to Davian's knowledge, like, Jax, Brooks, uh, and Daigon, not really particularly religious, religiously inclined. And mm -hmm. so to have Brooks there as a witness to say, this shit's real, and, like, seeing is believing, and I saw it, and I was there helps help stabbing because he knows that that's one of the better ways that he's going to be able to convince people to help him out anyway especially like for jack so jack's being as like no yeah there's no such thing as higher powers and it's all magic and science mm -hmm. and brooks is friends with Jax, so it's like okay well i got brooks in my corner now knowing that this is real as shit so that okay. that helps it, it, it's not super like personal or soul bearing because it's as new to davian as anyone else really like he's carried the visions and the voice for a while but it's not like it's not like seeing him naked or anything it's mm -hmm. just more of a sort of solidifying his mission like making that clearer to someone else in the group that he couldn't really before mm -hmm. all right uh, with that uh i think it's time i had a quick question oh. for davian a very quick one just about the dragon egg and Jax. Mm -hmm. oh god what was Davian's take on that? Because I know Sai was kind of just once again had nothing to sip this time, but was <laughs> observing this this happen, and Sai was, I mean, personally, Sai was like, destroy that thing. <laughs> he doesn't like dragons uh... at all, and then especially and the whole thing of putting it inside the vessel <laughs> with Kes, and especially when he realized who Blue was, Sai was like, hmm. Well, this is a bad idea, but I'm going to keep it to myself. <laughs> yeah, let's put the dragon egg in. But the like, uh, he the was like genie who literally fought the dragons in a war. He was like, I mean, it'll be it'll be destroyed. <laughs> Fine, it, it, perfect. It's the perfect ending. But well, I was wondering what, what Davian, because Davian didn't really say much about no. that. At that, uh, like, <clears throat> I think at that point, so Davian doesn't know a whole lot about dragons. Like, you know the whole goal was to stop the dragon cult but at the same time um for, okay from a from a ranger standpoint especially when it comes to animals and i know dragons aren't animals they're like kind of super beings but like mm -hmm. everything is a when it's a baby you know like you can you can tame a bear you can fucking raise a wolf like but he's had encounters obviously you have an encounter with a wild bear and it's gonna fucking destroy you but this is just a it's a baby and like so he wasn't overly threatened by it i think he's he was more concerned that like the severity of everyone else's concern was a red flag like okay maybe this is a bad deal <laughs> uh he believed that putting it in the bag of holding would probably kill it it would have and no, like like you said, it going to the vessel 
I think because I ended up telling Kosuth, being like, "Yo, they got a dragon, by the way. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with that, but they got a dragon." Uh, same reasoning being, there was a war, dude. <laughs> you guys yeah. fought dragons. Like, this can't be good. So I think <clears throat> there there was this initially like how bad can it be like how bad can it be let the old man do his thing like whatever it'll probably die and then it kind of amps up when everyone was really upset about it he's like okay well, maybe this is pretty bad and his his solution to that was Kes put it in the vessel either blue will deal with it i'm gonna tell kosuth and maybe he'll tell blue to deal with it whatever like that was that was pretty much it mm -hmm. okay. maybe should have been more concerned but <laughs> no, whatever um, all right, it is time to play some Jeopardy. I did forget the screen share, so I'm gonna have to resize the cameras real quick. Bell, cut this out. All right, so ladies and gents, it is time to play Jeopardy. Uh, we're gonna have two teams. So I'm gonna hit continue here. Uh, the name will be Vincent Bell. versus Sir Duke. I'm already winning. Oh, yes. capitalize the D. Shut up. There we go. I have shit so, in Detroit. The rules of the game are simple. There is five categories with five questions each. The higher the points for the question, the harder the question will be. The categories are Know Your Show, You're a Wizard, Harry, Monsters in the Closet, Canonically in Canon, and Oh My Gods. I love this, dude. <laughs> Rules so are fucked. as follows. I'm going to read out a question. Uh, I'm going to basically, uh, you both are going to roll d20 to decide who goes first. Um, the person picking picks a category and a value. I will read the question out and then you both have 30 seconds to buzz in. First person that buzzes in gets to answer the question. If they get if the answer wrong, they get the points deducted from their score. If they get the answer right, they get the, uh, get the, um, uh, the points. If none of you answer a question, uh, the person that picked the previous question picks again. Um, if someone answers the question wrong, the other party still has a chance. Uh, actually, no. If, uh, uh, you didn't do it last time. You didn't allow the other side to buzz in last time. Right. So, so once a question gets claimed and gets wrong, we move on. Right. That's how we did it. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So God. with that, I would like for you both to roll a d20. Going to be rolling my uh, d20 oh, in shit. my brand new dice tower. Let's go. Is that the one you sent a video at? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's, it's, actually... it's a smashed ship. I didn't realize that was yours. I thought it was just like a. No, it's, it's mine, dude. All right. It's amazing. First roll of the S channel in the fucking pirate ship dice tower. I rolled a nine. I rolled a 19. Duke. It's already doing me good, dude. <laughs> you get to go first. Pick a category and a value, please. Give me You're a Wizard Harry for 200. You're a Wizard Harry for 200. All right. This ninth level spell will instantly kill any creature this is cast on that has less than 100 HP. Oh my good lord. With the instant buzz in, Vincent. Power word kill? He didn't. I he didn't. What is power word kill? I didn't. What is power word kill? But. Vincent. Oh, I to forgot. Answer in, a, in a form of a question. What is power, is power word kill? I'm giving it to Vincent. <laughs> okay, I'm Fuck. giving it to Vincent. <laughs> Fuck! I forgot that's how... I didn't fucking start the timer yet, dude. You fucking buzzed in so quick. I was waiting for him to... I, okay, if that's how we're doing it, Vincent. What is power word kill? Vincent, you're on the board, baby. I was the finger of death anyway. I'm probably. winning! <laughs> am I supposed to board. wait for the timer? All right, am, with I, that, am I stupid? Um, Vincent, you no, 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 you buzz whatever. A category okay. and a... Uh, you know what? Amount. Balls to the wall. Oh my gods, 500. Oh my Wait, gods, my buzzer. 500. Oh yeah, I need to clear the buzzer. There we go. Thank you. This domain is also called the Seven Mountains of Goodness and Law and is the pinnacle of lawful goodness. Timer starts now. The Seven Mountains of Goodness? Yeah. I've got no idea. Ten seconds. Oh. What is the life domain? That's probably not it. That's, 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 babe, that's real basic bitch shit. It's not. What is Celestia? 
Celestia is the domain uh, a lot of the, like, super lawful good deities uh, reside in and rule over in uh, the canon D&D lore. Uh, with that, unfortunately, Duke... <laughs> Minus 500, baby. Minus Let's 500, go! Baby. Uh, and because of that, Vincent, you get to pick another category. Um, Monsters in the Closet for 300. Monsters in the Closet for 300. The amount of dragon heads Tiamat has. Duke! Five. What is five? How many is five? <laughs> How many is five is correct. <laughs> Minus 200 points for Duke. 200 points for Vincent. We move on to the next question. Duke, you get to pick a category and a number. What's going to bring me 400 points? Okay, uh, real quick, how the fuck is Vincent going to get any Know Your Show? Are they are these all going to be very recent in like... Uh, Yeah, I mean, I just... Yeah, it's tough luck, Vincent. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. I'll know? take Know Your Show for 400. Know Your Show for 400. I'm going to suck at this. The name and title of the Lich the Heroes of Exile face in their long fight against Orcas and his followers. Duke. No idea. Who is... Mm -hmm. Z uh, Zenji the Witch Queen? Let's see. Correct. Oh, hey, nice. correct. Baby! Zenji the Witch Queen is correct. And fun fact, in core canon D&D, it's actually Zenji the Witch King, but I give it, g gave him the old gender bend. Oh. There you go. Mm. Uh, all right, <clears throat> 200 all for both of you. Duke, it's on to you to pick a category and uh, a value. Oh my gods for 100. Oh my gods for 100. This realm is ruled by the Raven Queen. Oh my god, that was so quick. Okay. That was the Shadowfell. What is the Shadowfell? What is the Shadowfell? Where is the Shadowfell? <laughs> is correct, Duke. Boom. From now on, people don't answer in question form. You're going to get points deducted. Grr. Oof. 10 4. 10 4. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was salty about it in the first question. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. I mean, Duke, okay. uh, correct. You're winning now. You, you're, you're above uh, Vincent. Vincent, fun fact at this point in time, you have more points than both Bell and Koiba. <laughs> <laughs> so. Monsters in the closet for 100. Monsters in the closet for 100. Orcus belongs to this creature type. Uh, 25 seconds on the clock. I don't think I know this. 20 seconds. It's a buzz in. Can I look up the definition of a word? What? What? Wait, I'll pause the timer. What definition? What word? Well, I wanted to look up what aberration means, but I have no idea if that's even a creature type. <laughs> don't worry about it. 10 seconds. I'll do it, dude. I'll, I'll guess. It. Oh, okay. I'll go for what is mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. fiend? Oh. What is a fiend is correct. Oh, he, oh, that's good. 300 points and... I know like three creature types. 300 points <laughs> and you get to pick the next uh, category and uh, score. Uh, let's try canon... Uh, can't say that word. Canonically? Can canonically canon <laughs> for 100. For 100. Please. All right. This goat-headed evil being is also known as the Prince of Undeath. What? Duke. Who is Baal? You are wrong. Who is Orcus? <sighs> oh, it is Orcus. Okay, yeah. fuck. Duke, minus 100 points. Oh, it's funny that the, like, the two Orcus questions came in like back to back. I was like, oh, yeah. fuck, here we go, dude. <laughs> I really, yeah, I think that's what up. put me on. Yeah. <laughs> It was only a 100 point question because I felt like it's a pretty easy one, especially given campaign one, uh, right? So, uh, with that, Duke answered wrong. Vincent, you're in the lead and you get to pick the next question. All right. Well, so since I'll know none of these anyways, I'm going to get them out of the way. Okay. Know your show for 500, please. Oh, my good lord. Yeah, Bal does not have a go ahead. The member of the cult of Raskil who wore the golden mask. Oh, no. Well, good luck, Duke. <laughs> I don't know. This is so unfair. You could easily sabotage me with this. Uh... I mean, you're the one that was like, I'm going to buzz in for every question. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And now he's going to he's gonna pick a bunch of questions that I can't. I'm not going to know. And he definitely isn't going to know. But I said I was going to buzz in for all of them. Okay. Cult Ten seconds. Skeel who wore the golden mask. It was the, oh. first, the first cultist the Heroes of Exile fought. Yeah. 
Three seconds. Duke. Who is... Rescue? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, funnily enough, you're close. It's who's Rusk. Oh, oh my god, you should have stopped after Rusk. <laughs> Rusk. Oh, that's fucking good. That's fucking good. All right. Uh, With that, Duke is at minus 300. Vincent, you're at positive 300. And, Vincent, you get to pick the that's next. 500-point question. Uh, know your show 300, please. Know your show for three. Wait, did we do four? Yeah, this is a fucking Yes, we one. did. 300. <coughs> Sorry. I got into one of these, man. I didn't keep up a bit. The continent that has a close connection to and functions as the access point for many different planes of existence. Duke. Where is Keldar? It's not right. It's wrong. not right. No, it's the new one. It's it's wrong. It's the new, new one. one. I don't fucking know. It's not the new one. It's not it's, the new it one. It did come up. It, oh, it's where enough. probably where Kess comes from. Some shit. What is Planarion? The oh, that it's, came it's up, in the that name came up with Psy, didn't it? Yeah, because that's where Psy's yeah. going to go next to do his research. Fuck! I should have known that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But what I was thinking, no, what I was thinking is the new continent, and it's like. Closest to the elemental planes. Mm -hmm. And I don't even remember what the new continent's called, but it's not Keldar. Egrend. Keldar is the province you're in. Because it's yeah. the foothold of the Empire of Keldalar. Yeah. 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 All right, Duke. I mean, you're sticking true to your word of, of, of buzzing in every, every question, but it's. it's. Let's not go to, it's not, you miss every shot you don't take. Well. That's true. That's true. Uh, Vincent, you get to pick another question. Um. Oh my gods, 200, please. Oh my gods for 200. All right, here we go. The ruler of buzzes? all nine hells and all devils. My buzzer. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Sorry. There you go. I completely forgot what this is. 20 seconds. Oh. I knew it as well. Now I fucking forget. <laughs> Duke. Who is... Asmodeus? Who is... Asmodeus is correct. Hey, there we go. There you go, dude. There you go. Oh my good god. Shit, good shit. No way. Yeah, you got it. Nailed it. Good job. And it is now your turn to pick a category. Canonically in canon, 500. Canonically please. in canon for 500. All right, here we go. This conflict faced off Dragonkind versus Giants and lasted an extremely long time, of which its name got derived. I've got no ideas either. 20 seconds. Um, Vincent. This is going to be wrong, dude. Mm -hmm. um, what is... <laughs> uh, I, I honestly have no idea, so I'm just going to go with... What is the War of the Mountains? <laughs> that is not correct. Damn. Uh, I can't let Duke just buzz every time and just get it wrong. It was <laughs> a long wrong? time uh, of which its name got derived. Because uh, War of the Ages or some shit. What is a thousand year uh, war? Oh yeah. my god, no! I was gonna say the thousand year war, but I was like, no, that's like, there was a war in the United States. It was like the hundred year war. There's no way that's... thousand year war. Uh, oh, that is, was in the United is, uh, States. Israel. Vincent, that's a, that's a big minus 500 for you, my <laughs> dear boy. Dude, I was seriously <laughs> thinking thousand year war too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and with that, Duke, because Vincent answered wrong, you get to pick the next question. You're a wizard, Harry, for 100, please. You're a wizard, Harry, for 100. This cantrip allows the caster to repair a single break or tear. Okay, all right. What is mending? First. Mending? What was your answer? Could you just repeat your, your whole answer? What, what is mending? What is mending? Correct. Very good. I knew yeah. that one as well. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, clearing the buzzer. Duke, you get to pick another one. Uh, Monsters in the closet, 200. Monsters in the Closet for 200. This dragon color has the same 5 foot wide, 30 foot long line lightning breath as their blue brothers and sisters. Vincent. What is... Fuck. Bronze? Vincent. Correct. No, look at that! Oh Boom. my god, dude. Vincent, we're smarter than we thought. Yeah, yeah we are. Doing, uh, I think right now, the amount of questions answered correctly is already more than... <laughs> 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 but all right. Very good. Very good, Vincent. Add zero. Woo! No longer in the negative. And you get to pick the next question. Oh, fuck. Uh, Monsters in the Closet for 500. Monsters in the Alex. Closet for 500. Good boy. 
The story of this once angel, now archdevil, shares many similarities with Lucifer. I don't know why there's, it says the there, but with Lucifer, as in, you know, the devil. The Lucifer, wow. Yeah, that's uh, my bad. I have I absolutely know. no idea who this is, and I'm going to have to seconds. come up with some bullshit, and it's <laughs> minus 500. <laughs> this is literally every time. <laughs> I don't know, fuck. Once angel, now arch devil. Three seconds. Know. Duke. Who is... Tyrael. Man, that's close. Who is Zariel? Oh Zariel. my oh god, you're actually god, so dude. close. <laughs> there you go. The Zariel story is very similar to that what we know as, as like Lucifer's story, where once he was a big angel and, you know, then yeah. fucking dad cast him out and he fell and became the devil. It's pretty much exactly what happened to Zariel. <laughs> okay. Let's reset all of this stuff. Um, Duke, minus 800 points. Vincent, Duke, answered a question wrong, so... It is on you to pick the next question. Well, let's finish Monsters in the Closet for 400, please. Alrighty. This creature, and sometimes pet, takes its name from its ability to teleport in and out of existence. Fuck. Duke. What is... Phase Dog? Unfortunately... It is what is a blink, blink dog. dog, motherfucker! I knew that. I actually knew that one as well. I didn't think that was I'm it, though. Sorry. I thought it was. I have to be strict. Phase dog is not the name of the oh, creature. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that no, hurts. I feel man. you on that one, brother. I feel you on that one. Minus twelve hundred points for Duke. The comeback is on, dude. Hundred percent. Vincent. I'll start guessing some random shit. Next, don't worry. Uh, question. Uh, that was well, random let's... shit, though. I was confident. Let's go. Know your show for 200. Know your show for 200. All right. I can still get positive mathematics. The province, the province in Keldalar where Trim was from. Uh, <laughs> I should know this. Duke, you gotta know this. I don't know I this. I should know this. Only like six provinces in the in, in Keldalar. One in six chance, dude. Come on. Mm. As long as you choose, as long as you say one of the provinces, come on. Yeah, can I name a single <laughs> province? <laughs> Five seconds. Oh, uh, Duke. Where is the twenty-two seconds uh, before I need an answer? Okay. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> it's I I, I want to say the something wood, like where is the Glenwood? I don't fucking know. That's my best guess. Is that your answer? Where is the Glenwood? Yeah, yeah. Where is Final the Valen Forest? Valen Forest. You see what I mean? You see how close I was? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, not close enough. Vincent, know your show for one hundred, please. This, I got show this for one hundred. The name of the city guards present in Eldilon. No idea. If I, if I, like, I have a name, and if I get this wrong, I'm gonna be mad at myself, but like, this is as good as I can do. Okay. What is the Blue Sentinel? Blue Sentinel, Thanks, so I'll give it to you. Good job, good Thank job. Thank God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, 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 we're coming back. All right, we're coming back. There's still a lot of high point questions on the board. Oh yeah. You're so, a Wizard Harry, 500. You're Oof. a Wizard Harry for 500. The eighth level spell clone is exclusive to this class's spell list. I'm gonna try it, you know what? Vincent. Fuck, I regret doing this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think wizard is too obvious. 18 seconds. What is. 10 seconds. Fuck. What is. Five. Sorcerer. Sometimes the obvious answer is the right one. What is oh, it, it is the obvious answer! Thank God, because no! I would have said Sorcerer. I 100% would have said Sorcerer. <laughs> For the Damn. same reason. I gotta catch up to Duke, man. I can't just let yeah, him be down there by himself. Right, Duke. Canonically in canon? Canonically 300. in canon. 300? Hmm. Right. 
This archmage is famous for the creation of many spells used by spellcasters and has his name plastered on two 5e source books. Oh, I don't remember his name. 16 seconds. Ten seconds. I like I have two names in my head and I one of them is wrong. I'm buzzing in. Duke, thirty seconds before you need to answer. <sighs> okay. But read I've the got question carefully because I think I know which two names you're in you got in your head and No, one of them is Xanathar, and the other one is uh, so, some someone he did he, there was like a book about I want to say monsters. I don't think it's I don't think it's Xanathar. I think Xanathar is like a beholder or something. Uh, five seconds. Who 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 is Xanathar? Xanathar. Who is Mordenkainen? Yeah, Mordenkainen's mm. Tome of Foes, dude. That's yeah, what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, Duke, the uh, the point deficit just uh, keeps going. I I don't think it's possible for me to. For oh, eight, it is. 12, it is. It is. If you get at, like for if I get 12, everything 15. right from now on, I can be. I yeah. can. I mean, I'm a, I can get shit wrong. <clears throat> That's also well, true. Well, it's possible for me to win. I want to end positive, and that is <laughs> very <laughs> unlikely. Yeah, no, it's very unlikely. All right, uh, Vincent, you get to pick a question. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gods for 400. Oh, my Dutch. gods for 400. This deity, also known as the Storm God, ruled the Towers of Rome. Oh, my God, Vincent. What is the Storm Lord? No. Damn. <sighs> I try Critical role. It's gonna be like uh, yeah, it's if it is the role. Stormlord, you need a name. Come like I'm asking oh. for a name. Oh fuck! Not a title. Well, Not that's a title. that's me. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize so, it was. <laughs> it's fine. I'll take it. Who is Talos? Oh, Who it's Talos. Of course, it's Talos. Yeah. Fuck. So unfortunately, um, yeah. that's all good. I'm sorry. Okay. I told you. I was told you. I was coming for you, Duke. <laughs> I'm coming for Canonic that. Ass. Canonically in canon, 400. Canonically in canon for 400. Let me quickly clear the buzzer. There we go. Boom. I know. This famous archface shares her name with the main character of a famous folklore. She was named the most powerful witch in all of the realms. What? Fuck no, I don't know this. No, me neither. She shares her name with a, a, a character in a pretty famous folklore that exists uh, in Europe. I'll give you that. Or in Europe. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> I've got two I've got two European folklore women. Baba Yaga and Gretel. And I have a feeling that it's not either of those. Twenty-two seconds. <laughs> I have no idea for this, man. <laughs> oh, isn't it like the... Ten. Oh, I'm not gonna say Second. anything. Who is... Two seconds. Melitoli. I don't even know is who Melitoli is. Is this... But... Is this... Wait, before you show what the answer is. Uh -huh. Is this the... The German... Folklore stories? By any chance? No. It's Russian, and it was Baba Yaga. <laughs> oh! <laughs> my God! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this is like... I'm fucking dead serious. <laughs> this is like the most... Like, how... <coughs> Phase Dog... Fucking... <laughs> Tyriel... <laughs> fucking Baba Yaga. Oh my fucking goodness and Chris. We have four questions left. You're a wizard Harry for three and four hundred, canonically in canon for two hundred, and oh my gods for three hundred. We have Vincent at minus yeah. nine hundred and Duke at minus two thousand. I'm being robbed. I, I, I mean, <laughs> listen, man, uh, go with your gut, dude. Baba Yaga was correct. <laughs> yeah, wi wizard was correct for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with that, Vincent. Winnable. You're a Winnable. wizard Harry for four hundred. You're a wizard I can Harry win this by for four hundred points if I get all these right. 
This second level enchantment spell allows the caster to charm an enemy to fight on their side, giving them some nice accessory to make them stand out. What? I have no idea what the fuck this is. This second level enchantment spell allows the caster to charm an enemy to fight on their side, giving them some nice accessory to make him stand out. <laughs> no idea. 12 seconds. My brain is full of charm spells. Yeah, I don't I don't have any, any clue. I okay. What is charm person? Fortunately, it's wrong. It is what is Crown of Madness. Yeah. Yeah, like... Because uh. when you cast Crown of Madness on someone, they get this thorny crown yes. around their my, head. My, my brain immediately went to friends, but I think it's a cantrip. Yeah, I figured, you know, <laughs> they're they're like, giving them an accessory thing in there to kind of guide you a little bit, but... Uh... Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, no, I was like, is this is there, like, a thing in the description of Charm Person that, like, gives them a brooch that says that your friend is some shit, but no. I can get to minus 100 if I get all the rest of these correct. All right, well, Vincent, it's up to you to pick a category, so... Let's do this. Finish your wizard, Harry, for 300, please. All righty. This school of magic is primarily focused on protection and shield. <laughs> what is so abjuration? Fast! What is abjuration? What is abjuration? Correct. <sighs> Boom. Son of a bitch. If there's one thing I know, it's schools of magic. <laughs> all right, with that, Duke, you have two choices left. Canonically in canon or Oh My Gods. Oh My Gods for 300. Oh My Gods for 300. The name of the group that Bane, Lord of Darkness, Bahal, Lord of Murder, and Mirkul, Lord of Bones, were all a part of. Duke. Uh, no idea. It's like the, uh, it's like the big three. Uh, what is the big three? Again, close. It's gonna be the big the four, please. Oh. The <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. But we've, what we've well, gotten from this is that you kind of, sort of know your D&D lore, but not quite enough. <laughs> uh, do we, do I, we not dude, have the daily double in this? In this? Nah, the, I, have the, I have to get the paid version of this software to, uh, of these websites to uh, get, like, double jeopardy and that sort of shit. So, like, I was, like, fair okay. enough, fair enough. Um, oh Fabiag is going to hold me. We've got canonically in canon, so I'm just going to ask the question, uh, and that'll be it. Let's go for it. This, this city is often named one of, one of, if not the most important city in all of Faerun and draws the attention of many artists, artisan, <laughs> artisans, and scholars. <laughs> Where is Baldur's Gate? Wrong. Where is Waterdeep? It's a 50-50, man! <laughs> not, last time, fucking Koiba answered Waterdeep to the question that the answer was Baldur's Gate, and I'm so mad. Yeah. He sure did. He sure did. And with that, we end our uh, this week's, you know, episode of D&D Jeopardy with Vincent at a whopping minus 900 and Duke Woo! minus 2600. Man. Golf rules, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Golf, Golf rules! <laughs> okay, okay, let's just appreciate real quick, okay? Yeah. The, if, like, I'd got Baba Yaga and Blink Dog, where would I be at right now? Like... Like, my, still, like an, an still extra, negative like, 1500 or something. <laughs> negative 1800. Babiaga was 400, Blink Talk was 400, so I think 1800. Yeah. Damn. Hey, man. Thanks for playing, though. That was fun. God, what a fucking great game. That was actually, <laughs> that was actually really entertaining. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad. All right. And with and that, we, we answered every single question. We didn't let did. the buzzer run out. We didn't let you the did. fucking we time run out. That's mostly thanks to you, Duke. Uh, oh, well, yeah, okay, yes. But I came in here saying I'm gonna answer every question. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Good and I was, I was close on all of them. Yeah. yeah. No, Actually, right. what did I, com well, I guess militarily completely missed the mark because I think that's from Divinity. Yeah, but you definitely, you were like, it's Ed Baba But Yaga, I or speculated Yaga. Baba Yaga, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, uh, Baba Yaga and D&D is literally... No, Baba we did Yaga. the math wrong. Did we? Yeah, because if I'd got them right, I would be 800 points up each. Yeah, and yes, right. So yes. You so I'd be like a minus 1,000. Uh, no, yeah, minus, minus 800? No, minus 1,000. Because you've... Yes, minus, minus, minus 1,000. Yeah, so yeah, 1,600. Yeah. yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. True. I forgot that, you know. To, to calculate back, we oh, don't just have to yes. remove the points that got removed. I, so. Yeah, yeah. I would okay, yeah, add I 400 mean. rather than subtract. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, that was a great game, dude. It was as fun as I expected it would be. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, with that, uh, we're going to end today's episode of Dungeon Discourse. Uh, 
Normally I end up with like a little like, ooh, what's to come next week? But I genuinely don't know. Because the party has a, the fucking like, you know, is, is in the director's seat. Uh, yeah, we're the, for bit of a crossroads. So I have no idea what's going to come next. So I have no teases for you. I'm sorry. That's, a, that's always fun as a DM. <laughs> having no clue what like, the fuck's going to happen. Soko was going to DM me a bunch of shit that Jax wants to do to the egg and stuff. But like, so I know that's going to be a thing where like Soko or Jax is going to spend some time with the egg and do whatever the fuck he wants to do. But other than but that, dude, I've, I'm as fucking clueless as, as, as you are. Viewers, smile. So um, we'll find out on Sunday. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye to thanks for having us, Dutch. Thanks, thanks for having me for these several you. sessions. That was very fun. Yeah, dude. I, it was, it was I really enjoyed it. You.